Hi, hey y'all. Uh, how y'all doing? <laughs> um, give me just a second. I was quickly finishing something up. I'm still in the process of setting up. So give me one moment, please. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, that's right, that's right. This. Okay. And then and we'll do that. Okay. Minimize that for now. Give me that. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong button. I want this button. Oh, that's still the wrong button. I want Instagram. That's what I want. Because it's time for me to post to Instagram. <laughs> um. Okay, so I am now in the Discord for anybody who wants to pop in the Discord and say hi. Link is down below if you're not already a member. Um, that can close, actually. Um, oh, I should open that. On my, I can get that in a second. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something. Um, okay, so I have Twitch open. Uh, I'll check audio and audio should be fine, right? Audio should be fine. I haven't messed with any of the settings, I don't think. Uh, and I know approximately where I should be on the whatchamacallit, so I'll worry about that later. <coughs> um, what am I looking for? Okay, so I have Discord open, check. Oh, I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the most important thing, my notes. Helps if I'm actually in my work folder, which is right there, and then uh, there it is. Crimson Crimson plays Assassin's Creed. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me, people. I know that this is probably unnecessarily complicated because that's kind of just how I roll. All right, so let's. That is correct. Yes, that is the picture I want to post to Instagram. Well, let me, nope, okay. Um, why is it not letting me? Why is it not letting me? Because I have Assassin's Creed open? Is that what it is? Hey, Desmond. Um, okay, let's let's pause that and then swap over here. Does that help any? Ha! Huh. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, I think I have a, a solution to that. Um, yes. So I've recently been. Uh, fiddling around with a uh, new program on that, and a new program that came with my um, that was added to my phone naturally, which is what is taking so long. Essentially, it allows me to uh, you know, fuck it, let's just do this. In theory, when it works, allows me to um... Hey y'all, I'm live. <laughs> live. Uh, let's make that a hashtag live, because why not? On a hashtag Twitch. Exclamation mark, because I'm excited. I am. I'm tired, but I'm excited. Um Uh, let's see here. Uh, come watch me play. Hashtag Assassin's Creed 2. And then... Crap, I need to get the URL. Uh, Twitch, where are you? There you are. No, not them. That was the stream I was watching earlier. Give me my URL, please. Please give me my URL. And while I'm actually there, I can actually be listening to...
Yep, yep, yep. Okay, audio sounds good. Now let's give me that link. Just, I just give me the link. There we go. Mobile Twitch is always complicated for me. All right, and paste and share. <clears throat> okay, and then let's do that, and then open the mobile live thing so that I can actually be keeping an eye on all of the messages. All the messages. <laughs> um, okay, let, oh, 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 I absolutely forgot. I need to be post, I should post this in the, in the, That is not how you spell creed. There you go. And then let's also message. Hey! Hey, Yvonne, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I'm in the process of still getting set up um, because I cut it a little close when I started doing these things today because I had a little, I had, um, I had some stuff that I needed to, uh, basically I didn't trim down my schedule enough in order to, um, make it here in time. Cause you know, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use a bunch of hair puns to imply that I got my hair cut. Cause you know, <laughs> I cut my hair before the stream and that's what has me running a little bit late ish. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we want, let me, oh, come on, Gmail, don't do this to me, because uh, I want to notify them that oh 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 this goes here actually i don't need that here so let's go back to the stream manager hey k i'm here i'm here i'm focused i'm here hi <laughs> and organize things so that i can actually see the twitch chat because that would be a good idea right a little bit um and there's that. Okay. Okay. So, hello everybody. Welcome back to uh, officially welcome back to Assassin's uh, Crimson. Oh my God. To Crimson plays Assassin's Creed 2. Christ. <laughs> um. Make sure to take a second, hydrate a bit, uh, stretch your back, um, shoulders, neck, relax your jaw, whatever. Whatever you're currently possibly clenching, without necessarily realizing. Uh, as a general heads up, I have Nightbot in the chat. I've been trying to remember to um, to uh, point him out um, so that people can, you know interact and stuff there is various commands to be able to find my links and links of my friends and the and the like and um <sighs> okay so i don't want to spend too much time dilly dallying because i can I, I know i can talk a lot and if you let me i will um <clears throat> so let's go ahead and dive right on in for once um Oh, unfortunately, my week was so weird this week, this last week, that I did not actually have the time to do any of the gathering that I was intending to do. Um, but that's okay because that does that's not pertinent to today. To today, because today we're doing assassin contracts first. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Oh, sorry guys, coming through. 
It's like Florence was a big city that had a lot of people in it, and they're thus they're walking everywhere. Um, I do still have some money left over from when I cleared out Florence. So let's repair my armor. Let's repair the armor. Let's see, is there anything I can buy? Ooh, Vam braces. I'm buying those. All right. So now I have the Greaves, the Van Braces, the Chest Guard, and the Spalders of that. Oh, no, I don't have the Chest Guard. I don't have enough for the Chest Guard, so I have everything but the Chest Guard. Okay. Any weapons? Ooh, a Florentine Falchion. And it's better than the sword I've got, which or the thing I got, which I think is the Maul. Currently equipped is what I have, I think, I think. Captain's Sword. Plus three plus, uh, versus plus one. That is... Mm, I think I like the... I think I remember liking the Captain's Sword better. Uh, Yvonne, if you're still in the chat, how are you doing? I haven't really had time to chat with you today much. Let's see what else we have. Or if any... Or whoever else is in the chat. You're hanging in there? Hanging in there is good. Uh, how goes the, um... The vibe... The vibe prep. Actually, I think I like. I think I want to go with that. Well, eh, no, I'm going with that. I'm going with that. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, you know who I realized the other day um, loves Animal Crossing and would be all in on a project like this. Yes, I'm going to wait for you to uh, to you to either guess or um, respond before I say. <laughs> Critical role, specifically Matthew and Marisha, because they love that Animal Crossing. And this is absolutely their kind of. This is absolutely their kind of shtick. Oh, I ran right past where we were going. Oh, there's a Borgia guy. Uh, no, nope, focused, staying focused. I mean, you could, and this is absolutely their bag, you know, the charity and all that. All right, first assassination contract. A plot against Florence's supply line has been detected. End it by killing the merchant in the marketplace in the San Marco district. Excuse me while I finish, uh, while I throw away my brunch. If you don't feel comfortable reaching out to people, you can have me do it. I'm a little bit more brazen. Yeah, if you want, if you need help with anything, you can have other people do it. You can ask, like, me or, um... I'm sure Elidora would be willing. It is your event, but you're, you're my friend and I want to help with said event. Oh, I'm just landing on a guy now. That's okay. More than you have yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Where the hell? There is a... What the hell? Oh, there it is. That's why I couldn't find it. Yeah, but again, I want to help more than just spitting out ideas. Um... But I get it. And I mean, what you could do is you could... Compose the message. And then, like... Set up an official... Uh, email or something that you let... Me have access to. And then I can... Or contact or whatever the fuck. More 
more help with... Sorry, I'm trying to navigate the streets of Florence while reading that. Um, thinking of incentives and milestones, designing these things, uh, making publicity pages, handling these things has you swamped. That's, that's absolutely fair. The only problem with me helping with that is I have absolutely no concept of what would be good milestones and shit. <laughs> like it's a it's so foreign of a concept to me okay so we're in the area which is the green circle so i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the uh eagle vision and climb to the climb the roofs um have you poke me after stream okay um and we can talk more about that off stream because i think it'll involve it'll it'll have to involve some googling um, but I will do my best to help you with that. Okay, so I'm looking for a shiny gold person. Am I still in the zone? I'm still in the zone. Okay. Bench. There's a guard over there. Come on, Ezio. So, other than... Swamped with that kind of stuff. How goes the rest of it? Hmm. Oh, was that gold I just got a glimpse of? I think it was. Hold on. And by gold, I mean not money. I don't think I'm in the zone anymore. Oh, I'm still in the zone. Okay. Okay, maybe this would be more successful if I was on the ground level. Looking around. Okay. That's that is out of zone. Um I forget, did you just did 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 uh, did, that, did um a logo ever get settled on? been focusing on the design which is needed for the publicity pages which is why you're depressed putting the, th the logo got settled on that's good that's good um yeah oh dude walked right into my view while i was reading your thing um why is the research depressing Oh, is it? What are? What is it that you're specifically researching? Are you depressing? Not depressing. Are you? Um. What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Are you? Uh. Ah, yes. That's that's kind of where I was going with that, like the actual. Uh, yeah, that that would be de massively depressing. Is there someone you can pawn that off on so that it doesn't kill you? Oops. Hey, hey, guard. Yeah, it's fine. He's already bleeding out. It's fine. It's fine. Like, is that a thing that Howie would be able to or willing to or to do? Or Eladora or someone? One of the other people from your Discord that's willing to help? Several Potsy archers. Potsy? Yes, Potsy. That's right. Several Potsy archers attacked the uh, Palazzo della Signoria last night. I tracked them to the edge of the river in the San Marco district. Kill them. Kill the three archers. All right. Ooh, thieves. I could. Nah. Well. Nah, I'll stick with that. That's, I mean, that's fair. Um, what you could do is you could put out a general 
asking for volunteers. That way people can still choose to volunteer if they want or have the time or have the ability. Um, and they can ask you what you need and or maybe you could put up a list of jobs that people could volunteer for or take on. Because I will guarantee you that the people in the, the majority of the people in that Discord of yours are very willing and capable of helping. Yeah, you, you should definitely put up a list and then be like, hey, so <laughs> I hate bothering people, but if anybody would be willing to, to help out a little bit, etc, 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 you know, with your Yvonne charm. Your patented Avon charm. Ezio. Okay. Aha. What are you doing here? There, you will not get away. Get your hands off me. Blech all you want, but that doesn't make it any less true. How am I doing on the apothecary supplies? Oh well. Okay. Next time, amigo. Thank God this doesn't have a time limit on it. How does how? What do you guys have? Pouches. Nope. Okay. Uh, but you'll be back, the then. Pardon me. Pardon me. Coming through. All right. Oh wait! I just ran past a guy. That's not him. Oh, that was almost bad. Et Ezio. Ezio, please. There we go. Um, actually, is down where I need to go? I think down is actually where I need to go. Sorry, Ezio. You were just trying to be helpful, and I was, t and I was being rude. You see nothing. Doesn't look like one. Catch this assassin. Rid Firenze of his curse. What would make a man so honest? Ah, of course. A woman must be involved. Alright, so looking at the map. Um. I forget if it's all one pool and then they're just three locations where you can pull them from, or if they're three, if they're separate pools of... I know in later games they're separate, but I don't remember if in this game it's all one... I... I I'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. So how's... How's things outside of being swamped and depressed and all of that? Like, I mean, I know those are big parts of your life right now, but, like, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Hey, look, it's the place where Ezio's parents were killed. And a lot of other people, probably. Yeah, that's fair. Seen any, had, had any time to see any new animes or anything like that? To watch anything, even just if it's just, even if it's just to have it on in the background. Fair. That's fair. Um, I don't know why I did that, but anyway, um, 
<clears throat> I was going to ask another question. What was the other question I was going to ask? I don't remember. Oh well. Maybe it'll come to me. If not, it wasn't important. Um... <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, that wasn't what I was going to ask. Um, yeah, I got nothing. I I had a question. It's gone. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> um... You should not be up here, not you! The world is absolute shit, isn't it? Impressive move. Like just in general. And the worst part of it is it doesn't have to be Whoa. I just got a note hold on, I just got a notification from Instagram slash Facebook. Apparently, you can now message people on Instagram through Facebook Messenger. I guess. Uh, it's a... It's... It's... There's a new way to message on Instagram. Change your chat color. React with any emoji. Swipe to the uh, swipe to reply to messages. Share videos with more friends. Chat with friends who use Facebook. No app download need needed. And it's got the image for Instagram and the image for the Messenger app. Update? Sure. Uh, do I... Uh, no, I'm not going to sync pro the profile photo. Anyway. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, I wondered how long it would take them to actually integrate the two, or at least connect the two, considering the fact that Facebook bought out Instagram a long-ass time ago. Ah! Oh, I didn't read the story for this. Hold on. Uh, is it inventory, I think? Items? No. Uh, outfits? Do I? Did I have any? Okay, I just have the, the usual. <clears throat> Excuse me. Database, maybe. Recent entries? Posse conspirators? Where would this be? Would it be? Would it be? Would it be? Oh, wow. <laughs> I totally forgot that they had that. Anyway. Um... I mean, you shouldn't, because I would be sad, as would Matt and others. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It, it didn't look like they were a full merge, more like they were doing some kind of syncing or linking or something. I know, but still, it's not it, its not as easy to share memes if you don't have a Facebook, especially the ones that require you to log in. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was trying to find the... Oh, oh it'll probably be in here. Uh, sequences, would it be secondary? Okay, assassinations. Yes. This one is the one I'm on. There it is. A member of the Signoria was working with the Pazzi to turn the tide against our family. He's located near the church of San Lorenzo. But kill him silently. 
as he has powerful friends. Okay. Um, yeah, you could talk to me and uh, Matt and others through various other methods, but... And that was not the intended thing for you to do, Ezio. Okay. So, guards are there. Let, let's just... Let's take a walk. Let's take a walk. Let's view this around. Because the guy is in here. Right there. Okay, guards on either side of him. I'm not trying to go through that area. I'm trying to not get caught on the geometry. Okay. Um... Let's go find some of the ladies. Th Ooh, thieves would do. Thieves would do nicely. Yeah, I know, but I'm not as active on Reddit. In fact, I'm almost never on Reddit unless someone sends me a link to Reddit. Quiet. But yeah, it's... I, I, I haven't messed with it, so I don't know how synchronized or connected it is at all. So, I mean, it may not be connected or synchronized at all, you know? Alright, so now I know where I need to go and what I need to do. Um, let, me, let, me, let me find some ladies. And I know there's some near the... I forget the name of the place. But I don't know if there's any closer. I mean, I'll probably be fig uh, futzing around with it after uh, the stream. I just don't have time to mess with it right now. I do recommend that before you just straight up delete Facebook, <laughs> that you let people know directly. And being like, hey, so I could still talk to you on here, but <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they did make it so that you could still talk to people on Messenger without having an active Facebook, at least a while ago. Um, <laughs> what you wanted to scare the hell out of people? Next time, then. One or two. But my point still stands that there are at least a few people. Like, you should poke Matt and I and be like, okay, I'm finally officially doing it. I'm getting rid of Facebook. You can find me on Instagram and on Messenger. No, I know, but the, uh, the majority of your people would not notice. That is true. However, there are those of us, like me and Matt, who would... What am I? What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was trying to find ladies. Ladies. I totally got distracted and forgot what I was doing. And it's not about how often you post; it's about the ability to com the, the the presence to communicate type of thing. Um, where am I going? Where am I? Okay, over here is where I need to be, or for what I'm, where I'm thinking they would be. Then again, they may have despawned all the ladies, because that might make this mission a little e too easy. Maybe they're wanting me to specifically use those thieves. Maybe I didn't give it enough of a solid look around. Okay, yeah, here's the place. Are there ladies that I can hire? No. Ooh, okay. Shoot. The ladies have left have vacated the street. Alright. 
Okay, well. Yeah, I know, but it's one of those things where it's, like, nice to be given the heads up. And I'm not saying you should tell everybody, because, I mean, only the people that you actually talk about, talk to, not about, talk to, and care the most about, you know? The people who would notice. Watch out, coming through, pardon me. Still trying to find some ladies. Some nice, professional ladies. Well, I guess I have to use those thieves, because I haven't seen any ladies anywhere. Like, I, I really think that they genuinely despawned the ladies for this mission. Agreed. Lead on. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Because I know what I did bad uh, last time. Nope, not that one. Give me. Come on. Let them have it. Okay. Make sure you take some time to hydrate, Avon. Hydration is important. And it's because it's my stream that I'm telling you to hydrate. Oh God. I'm going to be sick. Please. Even if you're not streaming, it's important to hydrate. It doesn't change the fact that it's important to hydrate. Oh, can I go? Lick? Did that guy despawn already? Please tell me he did not. Because I kind of want to loot his corpse. If he's a member of the thing. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, cheapskate. Don't worry. I'll, um... I'll take care of it. He's, he's gonna... He, see? I'll take care of. Gone. I know you know, but it doesn't hurt to be reminded... Especially when you're going, when you're going through what you're, what, what, um, going through is not the words I'm looking for. When you're working on projects that are so all-encompassing and focus-requiring and... Keep away from me, God. Wow, that was unlucky for that Borgia guard, uh, for that Borgia guy. Because, damn, I literally landed right in front of him. <laughs> that was so unlucky for him. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, even if, it, even, even, especially, that's the word, especially when you're working on big projects and ones that, uh, that are not necessarily good for your mental health because of subjects that you're having to look up and endure, you know? By the way, I forgot to ask earlier when you showed up. How's the audio coming? How's the game audio for you? Is it a little quiet? Cause it's showing up a little lower on the the volume thing. Now the volume should be gone. It is a little quiet. Okay. Cause I just remembered that I had turned down. Uh, I'd messed with my volume settings last night. Uh, for, um, because I was, th things were loud. Um, I, 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 as you know, I was trying to fix the Tomb Raider, uh, the problems with Tomb Raider that I'd been having last week. And Tomb Raider at full volume comes in really fucking loud. 
That should be better. It's still probably quiet because it is generally quiet. Um, the music is. But... Yeah. I'm not coming through too loud or pitchy or anything like that, right? Like, I'm not picking... Uh, pe not picking. Peeking, that's the word. Okay, good. I'm only concerned because I'm... OBS says I'm reaching into the red. Ooh. Ah, he's not worth it. They only give me about 500, and that's not enough. That is, that's not worth it. What's hilarious? Oh, sh I didn't read it again. Okay, I'll go in here and read it because I know now. I now know how to do it, so it doesn't take very long. Oops, too far. Oh. Okay. A uh, member of the Salvucci family has, who helped smuggle our enemies into Florence has been found near the covered market south of Santa Maria Novella. Kill him, but make sure you are not seen. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, um, what's something that's funny to me? Like I'm, this is gonna come out. This is gonna come out like I'm sounding salty, but I'm not. I'm am I'm genuinely amused by this. So, <clears throat> in the process of leading directly up to the stream, right? I go on all my social medias and oh, post, um, b basically post that I'm about to go live or that I am live or whatever. Um, and I again prefacing this with this is gonna sound like I'm salty, but I'm not. Um, this is genuinely amusing to me. Um, the, uh, uh, brain. Kill the target? Where's the target? Right below me, apparently. Okay. Oh, no, that's a bard. Um, but yeah, so one of the things that, uh, and so on, on platforms like Twitter and Instagram, I use tags in order to categorize my uh, my post for public viewing and stuff. So like, uh, I I tag Twitch, I tag Assassin's Creed, and sometimes I tag live or stream or something like that, you know. Um, but the ones that I always tag are Assassin's Creed and Twitch, and and or YouTube if I'm talking about my YouTube videos. And so many people like or retweet those and then I only ever get like the same three people coming to watch and that's you guys that is incredibly amusing to me that could be our man I did not say Damn it, I did not say sword, Ezio. I said money. Yeah, like, today alone, in the, in the ten minutes leading up to this stream, I posted on Twitter, Instagram, and all of that. And I get likes and sh and retweets and stuff out the wazoo. I had... Uh, let me actually pull up numbers. Um, I have had three, we three retweets just today. And... 15 likes of my I'm live in 10-ish minutes post, essentially. Um, and it's been just you this entire time. More or less. I'm just... It's amusing to me. Um, and... Uh, Yeah. Anyway. 
Okay. Alright, so now let's go kill this guy right. Uh, you guys might come in what handy. Waiting. Hey, thanks for catching me. Hang on. Hey, you can't just do whatever you please, but so. You can't just do whatever you please. Dude, do you know who I am? <laughs> it did. It genuinely did. And me and uh, my four friends. So he's got a buddy. Give them something to think about. Lure away the guard. Hide in the crowd. And then shink. I I always feel bad for the minstrels in this um in this game. Because they spook at the easiest thing, and it's so easy to accidentally bump into them. And they always take it so personally, like, I'm sorry, my music sucks! And I'm like, no, your music is actually pretty great, because you guys are really good at your job, and I love your music, and I want to give you money, but you're running away! Take my money! <laughs> I know! Like, that guy, that minstrel that just ran away because he saw a dead body. He's like, I'm sorry, senor, I'll sing a different song. I'm like, it's a dead body. It's not a commentary on you. I mean, they do get a bit obstructive and they get up in your way because they're the, uh, they're this game's equivalent of, like, the, um, the drunks or the mentally disabled NPCs that wander around and get aggressive with you and shove you over. They're that version of it in this game. Or the women who beg for money, or the uh, you know, they're, they're that version of the, in, uh, this ver game's version of those. And you can distract them with uh, the throw coin ability. <laughs> yeah, I know! It's like, you got so bad at my music, you killed a guy! <laughs> And I feel so bad for them. I always feel so bad for them. <laughs> tip. <laughs> artists struggle. Tip your artists. Our enemies are trying to or to reorganize. I'm coming out with that accent. That vaguely horrible, probably very racist accent that sound that I was trying to use during some of the Assassin's Creed One streams. <clears throat> Our enemies are trying to reorganize. They are planning a meeting somewhere in the city. Follow our only known lead until he brings you to the conspirator conspirators. Then kill him. Kill them. But yeah, the in the first game, the beggars and the um, the drunks slash mentally. I don't want to just straight up call them mentally disabled because that's making a lot of um, assumptions about them, about the intention of the creators and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, they, in, in the first game, those obstruction NPCs got more annoying. Like, you feel bad because, like, the women, the, they're begging for money or they're mentally disabled and or whatever the fuck, you know, or drunk or whatever, you know. But... You feel so you feel bad, but you don't. But after a while, they just get annoying, right? But with the minstrels, while they can get annoying, you do still end up more feeling bad for them because oh. Is that a reason 
<laughs> yeah, I deserved that. Oh, this is... No, I won't. I'm sorry. These are my friends. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Minstrel. I'm busy. I'll come back and listen to your stuff later, I promise. Um... So I was actually realizing something earlier, a while ago, but earlier. The, um, with, or, with Assassin's Creed Origins, uh, and the style of game it is and the rating and all of that, I'm actually going to have to mark this stream as mature only. Like, I mean, I do kind of already have it that way, but, like, even on YouTube, I'm going to have to make it so that nobody under 18 can see it. Because they, d because of the region and the culture of that era of Egypt, they often have just topless women walking around casually, you know. And nobody makes any kind of deal about, a big deal about it or anything. Okay. So... How am I going to do this? Am I dreaming this? So like, you know, there's boobs and nipples all hang- Oh, actually, will I be able to stream it at all on Twitch? Because I don't actually even know if there's a setting- Because Twitch has God, guidelines, right? <sighs> Must be a drunken wager or something. I won. I, 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 and I don't know if Assassin's Creed Origins has a setting that's like a modesty setting or whatever. Maybe? I mean, it's not a common occurrence that they just have these women walking around with their. You know. But. They are there, and you don't always recognize that that's the case, and so you can't, like, avert the camera as easily or anything like that, you know? It is the only Assassin's Creed game that does that. I'll have to I'll have to take the time and poke around and figure it out. Okay. If I walk in here, are you guys going to get pissed? Probably. Um, but it does not it did did it say to not get detected? Nope, it does not say not to get detected. So I'll probably end up having to fight. There might be a stream-friendly version. Or maybe if I do go on to go into Twitch and say, hey, so this can't be this has to be an 18 upstream, then maybe they'll be a bit more lenient. I don't know. Um That's research I'm gonna have to try to remember to do. Is very specifically Google if the uh Twitch and Assassin's Creed Origins stuff. I am going to enjoy this stand up. Like you, get it! Are you there? I can die! I was prepared for a fight, but I mean, or you guys can all despawn when I kill the last of the guys. That works. I would think there would be a stream-friendly setting, or at least something that would be lenient about it, you know? Maybe it's because it's CGI, it doesn't technically... Oh, I need to go get the... Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to decline that, because I need to go get the money. Let me actually quickly take a second and write that down, uh, so that I don't forget to actually do that. Um, research Assassin's Creed Origins, uh, plus Twitch, and plus Topless Ladies. Is 
that I don't forget to do that. Um, because I know YouTube, as long as you make it so that it, like, you very specifically say that nobody, like, don't even show this to someone who is under this, like, don't even, you know, there is a, there is an extra 18 plus only setting for YouTube, but I do not know about Twitch. I, for that specific game, I might have to stream it on, over on YouTube only, if there's actual problems, you know? Oops, 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 up, up, up. And I mean, the, the rating of the game, if I remember correctly, is actually mature. As opposed to, like, the teens of the previous games, if I remember correctly. I could be remembering the ratings wrong. But... Okay, so I have all of that. Do I, hold on, do I have any... I think I have all of these unlocked already. Yeah, I do. Um... Wait. Yes. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going back to the Monte Regioni. Ooh! Let me grab you. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Ah, fucker. Get off the geometry, Ezio. Come here, come here. Gotcha. Okay, now. Okay, so now I need to go... Where's the fast travel? Oh, by Leonardo. Right, okay. I'm also gonna... Tr oh, I'm right near that, okay. I'm gonna swing by, that's right here, right over here. Okay. And, ooh, lucky! Okay. I did buy a lot more paintings uh, before last week's stream uh, that I haven't had a chance to show off yet. Um, so let's... Since we have to go to Monte Regioni anyway. Um available here. Yeah. Okay. And actually I can get the chest guard now. So let me do that. Okay. I suppose you only appear to be gone. And then to Monte Regioni. Please tell me that you are not currently researching that when you should be uh, doing your work. Ooh, Auditore Family Crypt. Special Assassin's Tomb icon has been added to the map, revealing the entrance of the Auditore Family Crypt. <laughs> I'll do that eventually, but I'm not going to do it now. Because um, I've got stuff I need to do. Okay, I've got all of those. I have that. Those are the same three. And there's nothing new here. Okay. And over there's that. Um, let me let me look at the map. Let's look at the Monte Regioni map. Okay, so there's the money. I have some feathers I can drop off. I have that, and I have the sanctuary stuff. I'll go ahead and do those, and we'll do a walk around of Monte Regioni. Um, a lot of these chests and stuff I can't actually get until without fully upgrading Monte Regioni first. So I'll get to those eventually. Um. Okay. I'm also going to poke around the, the training center, because sometimes they have some stuff in there. Oops. Alright. Collect income. Lady with an ermine drove you crazy in, 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 uh, in Assassin's Creed New Horizons? Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Sorry. Um. Buongiorno. Salute, Ser Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? <laughs> you absolutely were researching Assassin's Creed Origins and Twitch. Don't worry about it. I'll handle it. I promise. You focus on doing ev anything else that you need to do. Whether it be your 
your vibe check or taking care of yourself, you know, taking care. You can take a break from vibe check. You know that, right? You don't have to be working on it 24 hours every day. Um, okay, I can reopen the mines. I could reopen the church. I could reopen the military barracks. I could reopen the thieves guild or I could open up the wells. HG. Or I could give myself discount purchases on the in-town stuff. Or I could... Who, of course, is the Templar. Who, of course, is a Templar. Um, I was actually, actually, that would be a hell of a crossover if it was like Animals Creed or Assassin's Crossing or something like that, New Horizons, where they actually were just chibi animals in Assassin's Hoods and shit. That would be amazing. I would play the hell out of that. It has all the same gameplay of of um, of um, Animal Crossing, but all with all the plot and storyline, and also the gameplay of Assassin's Creed. Like, literally mash the two games together. That would be amazing. Um. Actually, I can't decide. It doesn't matter what order I unlock these. Uh, where should I, what should I what should I unlock next? I can unlock one of anything. Uh, I can do. I can upgrade the art merchant, the bank, the blacksmith, the doctor, the ch the tailor. If by upgrading them, I, it would give me a ten percent off of all purchases from that specific type of store in all the cities. Um, except for the bank, which just increases this, which greatly increases the city, the value of the city. Um, so it means that it would be more income and I could carry, more, I, it could be, it would hold more money before I would have to come back and get it. Um, so I could upgrade some of those or I could upgrade the mine, I could open the mines, which increases the city's value, renovate the church to increase the city's value. Military barracks, renovate them for city's value. Actually, if I did that, I could probably do another one. Oh, okay, hold up. 4,000, 4,000, 3,000. Okay, okay, so I could do either the military barracks or the thieves guild, and then one other, I could do the military barracks slash thieves guild, and then still do one other thing. Um, what do you think, Yvonne? Military Barracks and Thieves Guild would make it so that, like when I uh, opened up the brothel, not only would it increase the city's value, but it would then have uh, mercenaries or thieves, or in the brothel's case, the excuse me, the ladies walking around the, the streets casually, but also hanging out. And I think I could actually hire them and stuff. Not that they'll follow me to other cities, I don't think. Oh, I, I was, I, I can't decide which of these I should upgrade. Um, they all increase the value of the city. Um, if I increased the, if I did the art merchant, the blacksmith, the doctor, or the tailor, it would also give me 10% off all purchases in the game from that specific thing. I already have the brothel. I already have the brothel. Um... The other buildings that I have that also have people that help me are the Military Barracks and the Thieves Guild. Um, and so I could do one of them. Now, I have 7,000 florins-ish. I have almost 8,000. Um, and so I can do... Depending on how I, time the, how I space this out, I can do two. So, like, I can't actually upgrade the Blacksmith. Well, I could, but it would take all my money. Um, okay, bank, bank 
greatly increases. So like it do, in in addition to all the 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 increase from that everything else would do, it does even more. But also it does allow more income. Well, all in all value increases uh it brings in the income. But it also the bank very specifically makes it so that I can hold more money before I have to come in and empty the chest. If I remember correctly. Uh it doesn't tell you that, but I think I'm pretty sure that that's what the case is. Um so you vote the bank. That would be 5,000. If I did that, then... Let's see here. Do I have anything that's... Okay, I could upgrade the tailor for 2,500 as well. Yeah. If I, the bank is 5,000. The tailor is 2,500. Um, so I could do those two together. Other than that, there's the mines the ch and the church, which are 4,000. And then I could do either the military barracks, which is three... Or the Thieves' Guild, which is three. Um, or I could do the Well, which is an, which is four as well. Etc, etc. Um, art Merchant is five. So I could do the Art Merchant and the Tailor. I could do the Bank of the Tailor. Blacksmith would... I would only be able to do the Blacksmith. Um, Doctor is 3,000. So I could do that with one of the 4,000s. So you still sticking with the, you still sticking with the bank? <laughs> you said bank, I'll upgrade bank. Okay. Which is good because I mean, if you're doing the whole um most efficient way of doing things to to max out Monte Riccioni quicker and get more income quicker and stuff. The bank is what you want to max out first, technically speaking. Um, but I generally, like, each of these has their own pros and cons of focusing on, you know. Um, it is actually kind of fitting that the bank would be what would be focused on in this instance because of the fact that uh, the Auditore family were bankers. Um, before they were betrayed by the Templars. Well, I say betrayed by the Templars, but killed by the Templars. So that's kind of thematically appropriate. Um, so I can do 2,500 now. Let's see here. There... No, no. Taylor. I think the Taylor is the only one. Yeah, the Taylor is the only one, so I'll hit the Taylor. That means across the entire... Throughout the entire game, I now have a flat 10% off all, purchase for, all purchases from the Taylor. Buon viaggio. Okay. Plus 7,000 um, to Monte Regioni. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and drop off the deciphered codexes that I have here. Ooh! Wow! That was a lot more than I thought they were. I am not messing with those yet. Um, I'm gonna also going to... No, actually, I'll... Uh... Do you know what is Howie at work? He's at her, he's at work right now, right? Aw, oh, why are you awing? He just got home. Oh, cool. Um Ask him if he wants me to wait to put in the two um sanctum discs for him to get on uh, to get on uh, for him to be here for me to put in the sanctum discs i don't care one way or the other i can do it now or i can do it later i just want to know if he wants to be here for that and in the meantime i will while you're asking him i will do some running around i did not realize that i had 18 out of 30 already shit i mean it makes sense but damn Now that I've got the entirety of the uh, the next level up armor, the the helm I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that one. The the entirety of the leather armor is there. Look at its prettiness on display. Um, and then in here we've got the weapon rack room. There's a couple of hammers, a uh, couple of knives. Couple of swords, couple of swords, 
All right, let's let's go see if we can find some of those paintings while Yvonne. Actually, I should probably wait for Yvonne to be back before I do that. I'll go put the feathers in for Maria. And try to get those two chests that I see. I think those are inside. That is... I don't remember how many of those. 31 of 100. Okay. Alright, so... Now I will go upstairs. Press this button next to a portrait. This is a picture of the Templar Francesco de Pazzi, head of the Pazzi Bank and perpetrator of the Pazzi Conspiracy. Date of death, 1478. Vieri di Pazzi. This is a picture of, Templ of the Templar Vieri di Pazzi, son of Francesco de Pazzi. Date of death, 1477. Uberto Alberti. This is a picture of the Templar Uberto Alberti. Florentine Gonfalonieri of justice and a traitor to my family. Date of death, 1476. He's stuck under a cat, so go ahead. Okay. Man, that's rough. Well, those treasure chests were not in here, so maybe they're down below. I don't remember where they are. I'll mess with... Oh, 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 I do know where they are. They're in the well. That's right, that's right. Okay. Um, okay, well, in that case, I will do that in a second. First, I want to go through and do the art thing, since you're back. All right, so... I got this one. Pius and the skull... and the centaur. By Sandro Botticelli, a centaur has trespassed on forbidden territory, but is quickly brought under control by Minerva, who grabs his hair. The Annunciation by Leonardo da Vinci. The Archangel Gabriel appears to Mary, revealing to her that she will receive... You know, the whole story. The setting is the enclosed courtyard garden of a Florentine villa. Hmm, that's a little anachronistic. <laughs> no wonder people thought Jesus was white. Here's the one that gave you hell. Yeah, appropriation. Welcome to... <laughs> appropriation, thy name is Renaissance Italy. <laughs> um, Lady with Ermine by Leonardo da Vinci. The model for this portrait is Cecilia... I'm not even going to try that one. Uh, the mistress of... Again, not... Oh, Sforza! I know that name, Sforza. Uh, Ludovico... Ludovico... Ludovic, probably Vico, probably. Ludovico Sforza. The lady with her mind, or the other one? Mary in fucking Italy? Yeah. I mean, while they're really good art... All of the fucking religious paintings that we, that we use as holy iconography or in whatever fucking things that were from this period of history they're all like all massively horrible like the fucking last supper it's a beautiful painting but it's fucking horrible it's got a, ni a lot of nice little details in it but it's fucking horrible francesco de opere by pietro perugino I think Perugino. That makes sense, I guess. Portrait of of person. Hold on a second. My head. I think my uh, headphones are messing up. Give me a give me a second, please.
Testing, testing. Okay, there we go. Yeah. For whatever reason, I think I'm. I think unfortunately, my headset is developing a short in one of its wires up in in, in this ear, which is unfortunate as hell. Um, because it's a ploy to to center the West and assert their claim over Christian. You're not wrong, and not even just over Christianity, but over, and over you know the entire fucking world. Madonna and Child by Filippo Lippi. Well, also, I mean, it's not exactly the artist's fault in many situations. Because the Catholic Church had a declaration, if I remember correctly, that art had to be religious. If I remember correctly. Commission, the commissioners were one, but also there was stuff about the... There was definitely, like, a, ru a thing about the Catholic Church being, like, cracking down on non-religious painters, non-religious paintings and stuff. And so a lot of works that artists were uh, having to, that were artists were making, had to suddenly get uh, their topic changed. I know that that happened with several of Leonardo's paintings. They were not originally going to be about Christ and, you know, the bi a biblical topics and stuff. They were just going to be a portrait of something. But he, but in order to essentially get them off his ass, he had to be like, oh, this is supposed to be this. At least that's what I've heard. It may not be a factual statement, but it is what I've heard. Is this why we have sexy Satan? I mean, possibly, but the concept of, for in my opinion, the concept of sexy sec Satan makes sense because the whole devil can take all forms and he would take the form that is most likely to seduce you to the sin concept. But, you know. The Ideal City by Francesco de... Giorgio Martini and Piero della Francesca portrays a city that has been conceived in accordance with the dictates of rational and moral objectives. Interesting. I mean, it's pretty architecture. Michelangelo really wanted to shove it. Like, it wasn't just his brushes. He wanted to shove his entire fucking painting easel up the Pope's ass. And he wasn't the only one. <laughs> Welcome, science! You walked in on probably the worst possible part of that conversation. Like, I think this p picture was probably commissioned, right? Because it actually looks like it's placed in the fucking Middle East. Kinda. Right? And chisel, yeah. Actually, he probably wanted to... to wedge the chisel in a couple of other places and then hammer it deeper in but it seems like every week i walk in on this type of conversation i mean it happens because one it's me and two history is weird and disgusting well not necessarily disgusting but weird and sexy and and, and horrifying and all of that shit um but yeah so but yeah so like this this painting was probably a commission and Yvonne yeah Yvonne always makes me worse but in the best ways to be fair though I'm even I've been even worse influence on her than she is on me but anyway um oof <laughs> that's all that can be said because you know it's not wrong so I would actually like to point out that a lot of these religious paintings that they have here are here. I'll, like, OK, this one, it has you can't see my mouse if I try if I did what I was about to do. But um, it has a staff in it. You know, it's the St. John the Baptist baptizes Jesus by pouring water over his head. Right. Um, except he has a staff and we learn in the or they imply 
in one of the glyph puzzles that John the Baptist had one of the pieces of Eden for a short amount of time. In fact, I think he had the staff of Eden. Um, and thus he was able to be as charismatic and awesome as he was and etc, 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 etc. And so, like, if you look at some of these paintings, you will notice... Get Ezio. You will notice a commonality in the themes of... Like, this is... This one's not religious. Um, of, um... Of Assassin's Creed lore, essentially. essentially. So, like... You've got this. You've got this one, which which Yvonne and I were bitching about earlier. Um, while Mary did not necessarily have one of the pieces of Eden, Assassin's Creed makes the claim that Jesus did, and the angels in the lore of Assassin's Creed are often potentially either apparitions from the pieces of Eden. So it's entirely possible that she had a piece of Eden in this scene and all of that. Um, or they were messengers of a specific uh, the, of the um, of the ones that came before. Later called the Isu. Um, the uh, so like that angel, you know, so basically if this were a thing shown up in a glyph. They would probably claim that that... So, like, okay, she's sitting there, she's got that weird table in front of her, and on that table is something that is vaguely sphere-shaped. That would probably... They, pro they would probably claim that that was a piece of Eden in disguise. Or something like that, you know? Um, granted, it is completely an anachronistic painting, but they would still probably cl make that claim. Anyway. So, hey, more money. Okay. Um, we were here. There's nothing out here, nothing over there. So then let's go in here. Okay. Oh, and then there was that other one that had, that other painting that was right next to that one that had Minerva, who is, um, the, basically all mythology traces back to the Isu, to the ones that came before in Assassin's Creed. And since Minerva was a goddess, she would be connected to the ones that came before. Um, Primavera by Sandro Botticelli, the Garden of Venus. Yet another connection to the lore of Assassin's Creed, because connection to the ones that came before. From the left to right, Mercury, the Three Graces, Venus, Flora, Chloris, and Zephyr. All of which can are from... Roman mythology and connect to the ones that came before. By the way, welcome science. I was in the middle of a thing, so I didn't immediately say it. Welcome science. How are you doing? How's your day going? How's the wife? How's the kids? And by kids, I mean cats. How are my niches and nephews? Uh, niches and nephew. Portrait of a Musician by Leonardo da Vinci represents Francino Gaffurio, who was the Maestro di, di Cappella of the Milanese Cathedral. Um, if I remember I think it was this painting. If I remember correctly, the subject was not... There was a painting that Leonardo did where he start where he where he'd started painting it with the subject present but because of his process took so long the guy left and in order for him to finish the painting his uh leonardo's uh i forget what they call him his um his secret boyfriend is what what they were in uh, according to history but they were um like his um not servant but like his apprentice that's the one his apprentice who was also his secret boyfriend had to sit in to uh, with the similar posture and everything 
um, so as so that uh, Leonardo could finish the painting. And I think that was this one, but I don't remember. I know it's one of the Leonardo paintings that that's the p potentially apocryphal, um, apocryphal story for it. But the uh, I think it's this one that that's connected to. Cats are pathetically laying on the couch, blanket, keyboard. Yeah, yeah, fair. Is is uh, is mom not there? Is cat mom not there? Saint Francis in ecstasy. Awkward. By Giovanni Bellini portrays Saint Francis in ecstasy while receiving stigmata. I would not call that ecstasy. That experience would not it's, receiving stigmata would not be ecstasy. <laughs> Um, anyway, okay, let's, let's, I've been, I've dragged this on long enough. Let's see here. Uh, we've, we've seen that one. We've done that one. Let's see this one. St. John Baptiste by Leonardo da Vinci. St. John the Baptist sits in isolation, looking very, very feminine. He holds a reed cross in his left hand while his right hand points up towards heaven. And I think the reed cross in Assassin's Creed lore is supposed to be the staff of Eden. She there, but the keyboard isn't... Oh, the keyboard is in the way of the happiness. Ah, those poor babies. But yeah. So yet another painting. The majority of the paintings that you get, they connect to the lore of Assassin's Creed in one way, shape, or form or another. But seriously, that looks like a chick, doesn't it? Anyway. And that actually, that might be the one that the guy, that the apprentice sat for. Anyway, doesn't matter. One of Leonardo's portraits of peop of somebody. Did I? Did I? Yes, that's the ecstasy. Um, one of Leonardo's portraits, supposedly. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Um. Okay, so we got two more. We got that one and this one. These, Battista and Federico, by Piero della Francesca. Um. Portrait of the Condottiero. Federico de Monte, Montefeltro and his wife, Battista Sforza. Ah, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> when you want a family picture, but you and your wife hate each other. <laughs> and then the last one is Sant. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. Uh, by Michelle, M Michelle, probably not female Michelle, probably male Michelle. Uh, Giambono, um, considered the Venetian artist's masterpiece. Saint whatever is depicted on horseback. He was later beheaded in word of Italian that I'm not even going to try to butcher by the Emperor Diocletian. And look, yet another staff. And a cloak even so potentially essentially the theme through all of these paintings that uh the auditore family get and display are connection to assassin's creed lore and potentially um things like that that or they're just leonardo da vinci because he's friend of the family or they were nice like this one or this one or the others all right so i need to go grab the money downstairs Mana downstairs. Or I could just... No, I'm going to let it stack back up. I'm going to let it stack back up a bit. It's only at 25-something. All right. All right. So let's go down here. Into the sanctuary. And now I've gotten two seals that I have yet to put, uh, that I have yet to put in. So there's this guy... Gulangal, Darius, Wei Yu, Amunet, Iltani, who I think is one of them. Yes. And 
And then, uh, shit, what's this guy's name? Leonius. Or what's the other one? Was it over here? Yes, Darius. Darius. Interesting that Darius died in Italy, or at least is it is buried in Italy. Considering lore. Um Yvonne, you still there? Or did you step away for a bit? Um, when you get the, when you get a second, or when he gets a second, poke Howie and tell him that I make the that I say the comment. Interesting that Darius dies, or at least is buried in Italy, considering that he um went to Egypt, uh, and then storyline of stuff that I'm trying not to spoil. Um, anyway. Okay. Actually, I will, I will go ahead and get the, the money. Collect income. Alright. What is my Tell current income? Claudia. You hear Always say hi to Claudia. I love Claudia. She is Claudia is genuinely one of my favorite characters in the in the entire Ezio trilogy. Like Ezio is awesome, and and you know there are a bunch of other awesome characters like Leonardo and and all of that. But Claudia is my favorite. Um, okay, so I earn twenty five twenty six every twenty minutes. Okay. Okay. And the chest can hold 10,000-ish. Okay. A presto, Ezio. A presto. Buongiorno. Okay, now, I only have 28. If I remember correctly, I cannot do any more, because if I'm, I only have 2,800. Correct. Okay. All right. Whoa. Oh, right, right, right. That's right, that's right. It causes it to reload every time you talk to him. Um. Okay, so I upgraded the bank and I upgraded the tailor shop. I think. Yes. So none of these new, none of these chests are now. Well, I can actually do some running around. Let me let me do some running around. See if I can't. Uh, nope. I'll do that on my own time. That's right. I don't do that in the stream. I do it on my own time. Fight practice. See you, Ezio. Care for a bit of practice? So he's not just philosophizing over pictures for us. He's trying to make the money come back. I mean, a little bit, cause I'm, cause a little bit, a little bit. Um, I am kind of buying time trying to get the money to take over. However, I'm also wasting time that I could be playing, spending, uh, spending playing the actual game. But that said. The, um, I'm actually kind of upset that it does, like, it makes sense that it doesn't, but I'm still upset about it, that the game does not count the time in between gameplays, you know? But it makes sense, because it comes back every 20 minutes, and it would be maxed out really quick. It would be maxed out every time you'd log in if it came, if it ticked over while you were in between gameplays. Anyway, okay, so... I don't have the dodge unlocked yet. We've learned the, the evade, the kill, the disarm, the picking up weapons, the sheath, the weapon selection, and the throwing knives. Currently locked. I forget how to unlock these. Oh! I totally forgot that you actually buy some of this stuff. That's locked. Uh, 
you buy uh basically there are weapons that you can like you can disarm your opponents and oh hey generic name how you doing man welcome generic mr name what's a pleasure to see you again sir um i'm doing good i'm doing good i had totally forgotten about this thing that i just came across though um the basically in assassin's creed 2 they make it so that you can then if you are not wielding your own weapon you can then disarm uh one of your opponents and they have various different weapons that you don't necessarily have access to in otherwise so like there's ranged weapons um there's long range weapon uh, there, there's ranged weapons long weapons and two-handed weapons and uh i totally forgot that you can unlock special moves for those yeah yeah but that's because she's felicia day and yes. felicia day is amazing a break. so like i like i saw I, I got the notification that she's on um and i legitimately like part of me wants to open up her stream and have it running in the side like i've got i've got several people who are, who are currently on um that i follow there's um shit uh felicia day geek and sundry it itself is on um but i think they're always on more or less um uh and several other streams that probably nobody in this chat will actually know the names of but anyway yeah i like i'm tempted that i'm tempted to just have like i would have to have her muted of course because otherwise then you guys would be hearing her but like i'm te I, i'm tempted to just have it open but then i already have every part of my secondary screen taken up um okay so you know what, since we're here, I will go ahead and do this tomb. I wasn't going to, I was going to save that for a later stream. But I will go ahead and do the Auditore Family Crypt. Welcome. Felicia Day is amazing, though. Geek and Sundry really went downhill when she left. Like, they were going downhill anyway because of they'd been bought out and all of that stuff. But, Geek and Sundry, when they lost her, they lost, um one of their greats just like they lost their their greats when they lost critical role explore the auditore family crypt okay it's 409 i can do this in half an hour what's over here okay it wants me to go up but i'm not gonna go up yet um because let's interact with this Venice, 1296. I was raised in a small house by the Venetian Lagoon, within sight of the rough foam-capped waves of the sea. When I was barely old enough to walk, I, I became a sailor, navigating the Atlantic first as an apprentice and then while carrying cargo for my father's patron, Messer Marco Polo. Hey, That's a name from history. Another horrible, horrible person, from what I recall. It was a good life. So, this is the fam Auditore family crypt, which means that the Auditore family at one point in time worked for, or at least with, Marco Polo. Okay, so I can't interact with either of these gates, so it wants me to go up here. And... Okay. And then down. It's not in... It's not spoilers, because it's not in-game spoilers. It's just... Behind-the-scenes bullshit happens, and Critical Role says, fuck it. I, it's the same reason Will Wheaton doesn't work with them as with uh, Geek and Sundry any, uh, anymore. At least as much. And, like, there, there was a lot of stuff that happened that chased away a lot of the biggest names from Geek and Sundry. Um... I mean, in all in all ways, it was more or less an amicable split because they still love Geek and Sundry and all that, and they still love the people that work there. But yeah, it's we'll talk about it later. 
Uh, ashore. One day while ashore in the harbor looking for work, I fell in love. She was barely 20. From the word, from the phrasing of that, it makes you sound like you're a lot older. Uh, but when I looked into her eyes, the whole world was reflected back, clearer and brighter than the sun. After that, I still went to sea, but my heart remained on land with the girl, who had become my wife and our young son. Aw. <laughs> Barely 20. I mean, at least above 18. Because, I mean, history. She could have been 14. Or 12. Like, because history. <laughs> and I mean... I say I said that he could... Uh, that it makes it sound like he was a lot older, but I think if you actually, like, go on and look, he was... The guy was only, like, 25 or so. Even then, back then, 20s was, like, 40s. You know, Ezio, in, oh, throughout the course of this game, Ezio is, like, 17 for the majority of it. Like, I think the oldest he gets is 20, and that is later in the thing. And then, literally, the next game, which takes place the same year that he's that, uh, that oldest point, he's getting told by a doctor, at your age, you shouldn't be doing this type of stuff. And it's like... <laughs> Je testi... Je detest... <laughs> When Yvonne is so, so noping of a situa- of a context situation that she, like, your nope is fully valid. I get it. I'm there. But, contextually in history, it makes sense. They were like 40 equivalent. Birthright. One afternoon that summer, Messer Polo, um, called me into his study. My father was already there beside an older man dressed in a strange hooded cape watching us. At that moment, everything about my life changed. My father told me that he was an assassin. Removing his ring, he showed me a strange marking on his finger, explaining that our family came from an ancient order that protected and defended mankind. He paused, and, and then, when I didn't speak, Messer Polo stepped forward. He told me that the stranger in the hood would teach me, and in return, I would carry him across the Mediterranean to Spain. And so began my apprenticeship with Dante Alighieri, one that was to destroy every bit of happiness I would ever have. Aww. So basically, Marco Polo, Dante Alighieri, who was another name from history, as I recall, were both assassins in history. But I'm pretty sure Marco Polo historically was, like, no... not much better than, like, Columbus, who, from what I recall, appears at some point in these games. He's, I don't remember if he appears or if it's just canonical one way that he's on one of the sides or not. He's, he's talked about, at the very least, in one form or another. Alright. Time for a timed parkour thing. Easy. In preparation for our voyage, Messer Alighieri met with me repeatedly. At first, our meetings were about purchasing supplies, but soon they became about higher things, about life, love, honor, and justice. He taught me that society was set up in such a way as to control its members. To stop us from thinking, from seeing. I'm going to take a picture of that, because I'm going to post that on Facebook later. <laughs> That's the selfie side of the camera. Let's go. Uh, um, from thinking, from seeing. Soon I could look past all the laws and delusions. I, understand, I understood that mankind was being used by its rulers, that we, the people, deserved freedom. 
it was then that Dante began showing me pages from a book that Messer Polo had brought back from the palace of the great Genghis Khan. The manuscript, the Codex, was about our order, the Assassins. Of which I have about half the pages, I think. Okay, so I came from down up there. Uh, let me let me take a look. Okay, so I don't think that's where it wants me to go. Maybe. Yeah, that is where it wants me to go. Okay, okay, okay. It'll show me. Interact. Okay. Get Ezio. Oh, okay, so it did want me to just straight up swim there. Ugh. Okay, fine. Ezio. Ezio. Yeah. Yeah, jumping from... Speaking of Codex, Felicia Day. Direct jump from 316. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Ezio, grab the... Thank you. Up. Okay, I have to go up. 1.2. That's still lowballing it for her. I've seen streams where she's been at above 10k. Oh, there's a chest there. Okay. I don't know where it wants me to Oh, 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 I know where it wants me to go. It wants me to dive over there. Okay. Well, I fucked that up. That's okay, because I can go back here. Yeah, yeah, it is, um, it is, it is a bit mind-blowing when you think about it that way, but it also makes sense, given the fact that she's famous, you know? Or you could not die, Ezio, that works too. Um, because she's starred in shows, like, she was in Supernatural and, you know, all kinds of shit like that. An unexpected farewell. Our planned voyage never took place. While returning to Raven Rav Ravina to pick up the remainder of his belongings, Dante died. Aw. Dismayed at the loss of my mentor, I went to inform my father and Messer Polo of the sad news. Before I could even speak, I was ushered into the study, and my father, his face white, locked the door behind me. Shocked, I listened in silence as he spoke. Dante intended to take the Codex to Spain, where it would be safe, but he was being watched. The enemy of the Assassins, the Knights Templar, still existed. I recalled the stories he had told me of the Templars, and it all became clear. Dante had been murdered. The Templars knew about the Codex, and they knew about us. Shaking, my, fa uh, shaking, my father told me to take the Codex and leave for Spain at once, with my wife and child. As Messer Polo ushered me out the door, he handed me a small piece of paper with a number on it. With this number, I could draw on his cre I could draw on his credit more ducats than I had ever seen in my life at any bank in Italy. I mean, rich people. Okay, so can I get up to where that chest was, or not yet? Fame is mind blowing. Yeah, that's that's true. That is that is true. That is a fair statement. Okay, is there anything down here? No. Nope. Okay. And I can't go up yet. Okay. All right. 
Okay. And use. <clears throat> it has to be even my even more mind blowing for the people who are in, in experiencing the fame, you know? Like especially people like Critical Role who while they were famous for acting, they were not their faces were not rec easily recognizable because they were voice actors. Ezio, get out of the water. And... Ooh! Ooh! Good thing there's more of a ledge there! That would've hurt! Um... I mean, Critical Role, the... Like, Mercer and the others constantly talk about how crazy it is that they're as widely recognizable as they are now. Yeah, and it's and one of the amazing things is them talking uh, in those situations is when they suddenly realize how much power that that comes with, you know? Yay, I made it. Okay. Um, like when they like for example when they put up that go f that what was it the Kickstarter for the um for the animated series that's coming that straight up it, they hit their their goals were blasted out of the water within 24 hours and broke precedents and fucking records and shit one mil in 45 minutes yes you need to catch up on critical role so badly it's a worth it watch but it is a long watch as yvonne knows you helped that's good um I wanted to, but I didn't have the money for it. Um, like, I didn't even have twenty-five dollars or anything that I could sh that I could spare. Um. <laughs> hey, if we keep at what we're doing, eventually that might happen. You know, you never know. It could. We could overnight. We could catch wildfire. You are more likely than I, but it could happen. Uh, we set sail that night, the ship filled with cargo to sell in the markets of at Barcelona. At first, all was well. Then, to avoid a, co a coming storm, we laid anchor in the Otranto Harbor, cloaked in darkness. The pirates came. I didn't see them until they were already boarding my ship. I hid with my family in the hold. Pulling out the codex, I ran the worn leather cover through my hands. And then I broke the spine. The pages slid silently onto the floor. I scattered them into the chests, boxes, and containers I was carrying to market. The men who found us were drunk. I could smell it on their breath. When they asked for the codex, I knew who, sent, who's, who had sent them. Holding back my rage, I said that I had thrown it overboard. They started to laugh. Two, hel two held me down, still grinning, while the rest cut off my wife's clothes. Uh, trigger warning, Yvonne. Step away. Yeah, yeah, step away. Um, I'm not going to read, I'm not going to verbally read the, I, I am going to ver verbally read the rest, but, um, trigger warning. Give her a minute to step away, or take off her headset or something. Okay, um, uh, while the rest cut off my wife's clothes. She begged for mercy until her voice gave out. Once they were done, they threw her into the sea. They took my cargo and sunk my ship and left me adrift, clinging to a piece of railing. I made it to the beach with my son. My wife's body washed up on the, so on the shore the next morning with the tide. Hey, uh, generic. Could you do me a favor and poke her in in the Discord and tell her that it's oh, it's over. It is over. They did not um, they did not go into much detail. Uh, but it was enough.
Long story short, the wife didn't survive. Oop, Ezio. <laughs> really? You couldn't give me that game? I was right there. Damn it. Yeah. That said, in this specific instance, it's probably a bit more of a historical... Uh, it's probably they did it more less as a plot point and more as a this is what would have historically happened type of thing, which is unfortunate. Like, you're absolutely not wrong, and I fully agree. But, like, the argument could be made. Yeah. It is It is just an excuse. It is absolutely just an excuse. <sighs> I never saw the sea again. Making my way to Florence, I rented a small room and then visited the bank. Okay, actually, to be fair, they never do actually specifically say that she was raped. Um... They leave it... I mean, it is entirely possible that they just physically tortured her with their, with, like, cutting her to bits and stuff like that. Um, because they, they never specifically say that that's what happened. Um, but it's heavily implied, which is still just as bad. And you're absolutely right. Like, just because it's a thing that ma that uh, that was very likely to have happened in this kind of a situation does not mean it's a thing that you should include. Yeah, I I know, I agree, but it, I'm just saying that basically, from their perspective, there being the writer's perspective, we left it vague. Doesn't make it any better. I'm not excusing them for it. I'm just saying this is probably what their their whole bullshit excuse was. We left it vague, and it was histor it would be historically accurate to ha to say that this most likely happened anyway. Doesn't make it any better. Does not excuse them for that decision, etc. But that is probably what they would say or have said if it was brought up. Does not fix it. Does not make it any better. Does not make it okay. Etc. Like I'm fully there with you. Just also saying that this is probably what they would be, what they would say in response. Yeah, absolutely, and that's exactly what I'm saying. Their bullshit excuse is still a bullshit excuse. Bullshit excuse is still a bullshit excuse. And I do know that you that you specifically don't need it explained. That was more for anybody else who might be seeing this. I was talking to you. I was using you as a uh, tool to communicate with anybody else who sees this. But I know because, but I do, I do know that you don't need it explained. You, you specifically do not need it explained. Um, and uh, for all I know, a lot of people who watch this may not need it explained. I have not seen any sort of a sword art online. I think that's SAO. Sword Art Online? Yeah. I've not seen any of it yet. Um, it's on my list. It's not. It's down near the bottom, but I've not seen it. Don't? Okay. Any of the series at all, or that specific thing? Ah. Uh, okay. Fair. Alright. Back to this, because we are at 4.30 and I want to get this done. Uh, with the vast sum I now have at my disposal, um, I rented a small room and, and, and then visited the bank. I had memorized Mo uh, Polo's account number. With the vast sum I now had at my disposal, I went to Venice in disguise 
excuse me, <clears throat> to find my father. I returned to Florence the next day. Both Polo and my father were already dead. Yikes. Uh, from, the moment from that moment forward, I collected treatises on architecture, studied the classics, and took, uh, took vocal lessons. I adopted the name Auditore, impersonating a mobile in the Florentine court. Accepted as one of their own, I took on the trappings of nobility and constructed this villa for me and my son. And then I hunted them. I raised my son to fight, I, to find the codex, and to kill. Temp, to kill Templars. Together we would re regain the honor of my wife and avenge the death of my father. Two debts that would never that could never be repaid. To the auditore that reads this, remember that you are not a nobleman. You are not one of the deceivers. You are one of the people. Avenge us. Okay. Yeah, then I'll, I'll remove it from my to-watch list. I still never got that one chest, unless there's a way out through here, but... There, okay, there's a quick way out, so I will probably not... Okay, let me go ahead and get these. Now, I don't think I can actually open these or loot them or anything. Not that he would probably want me to. Um, okay. Okay. I'm I'm actually going to call it there because it's 4.30. Um, and the... Uh, Ezio. And the... Uh, whose tombs are these? These are the... Um, well, they found they found her body. It washed ashore the next morning. He probably took it with her, or and entombed it here. That, or it's one of them is definitely the guy whose uh, writings were we, we were reading. Uh, one of them may have been the wife. Um, I don't know. The other one may be the son that he mentions. But basically, this whole crypt is the Auditore family crypt. So anybody interred here is Ezio's ancestor. Um, so these two in the center are probably the people who began the Auditore name, which would be the man who was telling the story and uh, potentially his wife, if not his son. Um, so that said, the son is probably interred here somewhere anyway. But yeah, so it's 4.30. I will go ahead and call it there because the only other thing I was going to do before exiting this tomb is go back and try to grab that one treasure chest that I missed. Um, so I'll go ahead and call it here. Um, remember that the VOD of this, the VOD VOD, whatever, I, you know, uh, v of this stream will be going up on YouTube hopefully no later than tomorrow morning. Uh, also available on my YouTube is every prior stream uh, of Assassin's Creed 1. The um, uh, uh, Every prior stream, Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2, previous episodes, as well as a playthrough of Mirror's Edge. And now, because it started last week, the streams of Tomb Raider Tuesdays are, op are up. Um, speaking of tombs. <laughs> uh, the... Uh, the streams of Tomb Raider Tuesdays are now available on YouTube as well, as well as on here. Um, and in that same vein, tomorrow, I will be streaming Tomb, Tomb Raider 1. I fixed the technical issues. I discovered what they were. Oh, I pissed myself off because of that whole thing. I Basically, I overcomplicated what it was, and it was my own stupidity that, that resulted in the technical difficulties with Tomb Raider 1. But I've got it fixed. Um... I had to delete the save, but I'm going to spend tonight uh, getting back to where I was in Tomb Raider. Um, and so we will still be carrying on from approximately the same location. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, check out my previous streams. Uh, they are 
the link to my YouTube is down below this Twitch stream. Um, it's also available in the Twitch chat. Um, and when it, this is uploaded, I will be posting. It's also available in my link tree, if I didn't already say that. Um, I will be posting the... Uh, shit, what's it called? The... Uh... Oh, I don't remember. When I post the VOD, I will be posting links to that as well, and that will take you to my YouTube. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Um, but if you are actually watching this on YouTube, then please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And please, even if you didn't, like and subscribe. It's just nice. It's kind. Be kind. Um, also, you should, f speaking of my link tree, you should follow me on my socials. Um, the, uh, I post updates for my streaming there, as well as generally shit posts about everything. Um, ranging from memes to political posts to, you know, whatever the fuck. Um, sometimes I post about Critical Role. We were talking about that earlier. Um, uh, so the links to those will be in my link tree. They're also in the Twitch chat. And they are um, available down below on both YouTube and on Twitch. And are available on, like, you can always find links to the others like my link tree on all the uh, on each of my profiles as well. Um, you should also, if if you're in the mood for checking out things or joining things, you should join my Discord channel. Um, we can hang out, we can talk, we can chat. Uh, it's not very active at the moment, uh, as generic unfortunate knows, um, but that's okay. Um, I'm hoping that it becomes more active over time. Uh, but you know, whatever. Um, but you should join my Discord. The link to that is in the link tree, as well as now in the Twitch chat. And it'll be down below on YouTube as well. And I think it's down below on Twitch as well. Basically, it's places. It should be easy to find. Um, oh, and hey, as I've already mentioned, tomorrow is Tuesday, which means we will be continuing Tomb Raider Tuesdays. Um, Tomb Raider Tuesdays is where I plan to essentially do what I'm doing on Monday with Assassin's Creed, but with Tomb Raider. Um, last week I, I played, uh, the first, the classic Tomb Raider from 1996, um, had some technical difficulties because of my own stupidity about stuff, um, but it's, uh... I've fixed those issues and should not have any, at least not the repeat, not repeats of those same ones. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah. Um, oh, Yvonne, if you want to pop into the discord, uh, to plug yourself and your stuff, um, at some point in a, in a second, you can, um, so yeah, Tomb Raider Tuesdays starting tomorrow. Uh, Tomb Raider Tuesdays will be continuing tomorrow, uh, the twentieth at six p.m. I'm going to keep it the six p.m. time. The time may be adjusted in the future. I am not sure, but last week it seemed to work, so I'm going to try this six p.m. again tomorrow as well. Um, it will be going for about two hours, so that's six p.m. to eight p.m. Uh, Central Time um, in the United States, and uh, that. In Eastern, that's 7 to 9, and shit, brain is not working well enough to convert for Western, or for West Coast. But anyway, 6 to 8 Central Time. Um, you babble a lot. I do, I do. Um, and part of that is because that's how my brain works. Um, but yeah, I will be continuing playing through the classic Tomb Raider. Um it's still crazy to me that it, that that was fucking 24 years ago. I was I 6. That. 24 years ago was when I was 6. Oh. <laughs> I said uh, <laughs> uh Anyway, beyond beyond to, uh, turn it, tune in tomorrow for to, uh, for more Tomb Raider, tune in next week for more Assassin's Creed. Um and as you can now hear her voice, uh, everyone should check out my friends, Yvonne B, Mel uh, Melador, I forget the numbers after his name, 219, and 
uh, Eternity and Cosplay Katie. Their URLs are on the screen now, and the links will be in the chat in a second, because I'm as as we go. Um, and uh, yeah, so Yvonne stream you stream Friday and Sunday with the occasional Wednesday and Thursday, right? Well, it's mostly Friday and Sunday for me. Howie does takeovers on Thursdays sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Uh, usually around 4.30. He's unpredictable. But yeah. it's usually a Thursday. It's usually 4.30-ish. And it's usually Factorio. He's, um, a schedule? What schedule? Why would I need a schedule? Um, exactly. Uh... So, yeah, uh, you've you've streamed on Wednesday too, right? Or am I crazy in remembering yeah. that? No, well, like I streamed on Wednesday, like I think maybe twice, and that was just because we felt like it and we okay. had the time. So okay, like yeah. So it's like, definitively like, Friday and Sunday. Like, yeah, it's definitively Friday and Sunday with the occasional. Uh, Howie takeover on Thursday, Factorio takeover on Thursday, um, with the other days as f felt like. That's fair. Um, mm -hmm. You've been playing. You still play. You're still playing uh, Tales of Symphonia, right? Yeah. When I on on Fridays. Yes, I saw. I did quotes. not make quotes. <laughs> you heard the quotes. The quotes were implied <laughs> in my tone. The quotes. <laughs> Uh -huh. so, yeah, my fin yeah. my fingers are cold. It's it's chilly in here. Uh -huh. So <laughs> we are doing I'm in Tales trouble. Of Symphonia. You jerk. Yes. We are doing Tales of Symphonia on Fridays, usually starting at four. So that okay. goes for four to seven. The hour before I do pretty much whatever the heck I want. And that changes. Okay. Last week you were working on um, the logo for Vibe, um, which we will. I will want to talk to you about in a second. Um, okay. But before that, uh, Sunday you have the Animal Crossing thing where you do an, uh, island tours, right? Or are toured on islands, I think, right? <laughs> I do tours of other people's islands. Thank you for the yeah, English pr pronunciation of the, of my mental intent to describe. Womp womp. womp. So yeah, a uh, pre-picked person, I do a tour of their island. She's quiet. Uh, wait. Oh, I'm quiet. Yeah, I, I can fix. I can fix. Hold on. Yeah. Um, I think I can fix. Oh no. Try that. Hello, hello. There you are. I had you turned down. Cool. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Just a brief, be. just a brief summary for it. Depending on how quiet she was before. Um, Fridays she streams Tales of Symphonias with an uh, from uh, four to seven p.m. Eastern time, with an hour before that being. Uh, her working on her doing various other things, um, and uh, that's Fridays and Sundays. She does an Animal Crossing stream where she is taken on tours by, uh, across various islands, uh, in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I believe you were going to expound on what your upcoming Sunday looks like. Yes, this upcoming Sunday we're going to the island called Paradise made by Alexis. And so that's going to be interesting because I looked at a little bit and it does look like an utter paradise and this person is very cute. So please Damn. tune in. I think you'll like it. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so tune in on Sunday at Yvonne B. Again, the link is on, her URL is on screen. It is in the chat. Um, and it is down below as well as in my link tree. So it's all over the places. If you can't find it, then, I mean, are you even trying? Um, <laughs> now, I mentioned a bit ago Vibe. That is an initiative thing that you're working on. 
it's technically called it's a vibe but it's a vibe you know, that's it right doesn't matter. sorry i couldn't remember what the <laughs> thing was i just remembered vibe I, all I remembered was Cisco. Like literally, my the very only reason I'm able to remember it because of how hectic the last few days have been, is because of my Cisco Ramon joke I made in your in your Discord. Womp womp. So like so, because I made that joke, that's why it's still in my brain that it's something vibe. Like I was calling it vibe check womp. earlier, and I know that's the name of the Discord uh, chat text chat about it. But anyway, so vibe. <laughs> So November 7th, we're having a fundraiser, a Black Lives Matter fundraiser that will be benefiting Color of Change. And it's called It's a Vibe. Vibe stands for Virtual Initiative for Black Equality. It's a Vibe. Okay, I'm done. So uh, it's going to be an all day stream from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So drop by pretty much any time I will be on and playing various games from Animal Crossing to Rocket League and we're ending with a D&D session maybe hosted by me maybe hosted by Tomasi Wolf who is another streamer we shall see we're still ironing out details awesome uh, so you said it was a virtual fundraiser for Color of Change. Yes. Ah, Generic says that he had a family thing on the 7th originally, but it got canceled, so he can actually come and hang out. That's awesome, man. Awesome. <laughs> glad that you uh, – glad that you're uh, – at least one person will be able to be there for your for your uh, virtual fundraiser. Um, <laughs> it's a vibe. Don't worry. I have it written down now. <laughs> yeah. Cause I don't. Cause when I when I when I one of the things that I meant to do but didn't do was update my uh, my notes, my script, yeah. my si my sign in sign out script, and I did not. And I was going to put that in, but I forgot. Anyway, so yeah. yeah so check her out on uh, fr this Friday and Sunday, and potentially on Thursday for if Howie decides to play some fa uh, Factorio. Actually, if I remember correctly, last Thursday. Howie and Generic played Factorio together. Is that correct, yeah. Generic? As we all sit and silently wait. Yep, <laughs> we're just going to sit and stare. Yep, the past, past two, two Thursdays. Thursdays. Hey, I missed, the, I missed the previous Thursday, but I dipped in. I, I, I popped in on uh, last Thursday. Um, but cool, yeah, so... Will you be joining him again this week, or is it less of a planned thing and more of a, hey, you want to come? <laughs> okay, Should cool. Be, he says. Well, so if if it happens on third, if it, if the if the how if the uh, Howie Factorio <laughs> takeover of Yvonne B happens this Thursday, then generic name. There's a very good chance that he he will also be there. Uh, with Howie. So check them out on Thursday, potentially. Keep an eye on their channel for that. Uh, again, the links to that cha Twitch channel are avail are everywhere. If you can't find it, you're really yeah. not trying. You're really not trying if you can't find the links to that. If you're watching this and you can't find the links, hmm, <laughs> you know, it's like one, two, three, anyway. Um, so next up is my friend Matt, who usually unfortunately can't make it for this stream because he has work and work sucks um but he matt uh also known as melador has streams on mondays and wednesdays uh he streams mondays and wednesdays starting at 8 p.m eastern uh in the past he's played stardew valley frostpunk and subnautica but recently he's going all in on baldur's gate three um he uh and is completely focusing on that uh, which is amazing. Oh my god. Have you seen any of his gameplay of, of Baldur's Gate 3, Yvonne? Yes, it freaks me out. It's too realistic. I know! It's so amazing! Like, I want that character creator. What are you- <laughs> why? What, what are you typing? Why? <laughs> I'm sorry! The song called me. <laughs> I'm confused. 
Say it ain't so. Oh. Go. Turn the lights off. Carry and done. Be and there goes any hope I have for a for a monetization ever. Okay. Uh <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm going. I'm about to get sued by. Fuck! I forget the name of that band. I'm horrible. I know the name of that band, but I forgot it. Uh, Weezer. There it is. Anyway, it's a cover. I, I, sure. Anyway. Um. But yeah, Bob. Because I screamed. I screamed. Rose. What? You come in literally at the last possible second. Welcome. You live. You live. I'm sorry you've missed the stream, but welcome. Welcome. The Weezer song is a completely different song, and how it dare is? you? I okay. Yeah. I googled "Say It Ain't So," you and that was what popped up first. So, which is the Weezer one is "Say It Ain't So." Whoa, whoa. That's a totally different song. It's I'm like sorry. Like 20 years later. You're right. You're <laughs> absolutely right. I knew better than that. It's Blink 182. I'm sorry. I fucked up. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. I knew. I I knew that. It's just it, my brain isn't working, and I am. Yeah. I I am ashamed. Okay. You should be. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Yeah. She's. She. You're. You're right, Rose. She is correct in this instance. I'm not saying she's wrong. I'm just. Yeah. I was just, I had a brain blank. Anyway. So, <laughs> so Matt streams Mondays and Wednesdays, and he's been play going all in on Baldur's Gate 3, and it is fucking amazing. The graphics in that game are fantastic, and the gameplay looks um, is awesome, and it is on my want list. Um, I kind of also really want, I'm sorry it hurt your soul. I, I'm sorry. Um, I, I kind of really want the game just so that I can have access to that character creator. If it, if it's as, I, I hope it's like Mass Effect level quality character creator. Cause then imagine, cause then, I mean, fuck all else. You can use that to straight up build D and D characters. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm glad you're alive, Rose. Um, I'm glad you were able to make it, even if it was just for the end here. Um, you, uh, you said you've been on vacation, right? He says, distracting himself from his sign out. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, Matt streams, Melador streams. His link is the same place as Yvonne's links are on screen down below in my link tree in the chat. I will put it back in the chat now. Um, <laughs> you would just get it for D and D character creation. I mean, you're not wrong. That's kind of what the majority of what I would do with it. But I would also play the game. But trying trying D and D character creation with The Sims could work. But I don't. Gen personally, I don't like the art style of The Sims. Like it works for the kind of game it is, but it would not. In my it does it. It's not detailed enough for my preference for D&D characters. Adding a shitload of mods, that might do it. Yeah, I, I, if I get it, I will wait. If I get Baldur's Gate 3, it, I will wait until it's fully released. I'm not going to do the... Uh... Well, I... T Yvonne, this may surprise you, but I don't have The Sims. I'm just saying that that modding might do it. Yeah, I would I would love I know that other games have done this. I forget what game specifically, but I encountered a game that made their character creator fully available for download separate from the game itself. Um so like you can download just the character creator. It's not a very in-depth character creator, but you can, you know, you can uh or at least you used to be able to and I kind of want I want Baldur's Gate. I would pay money for Baldur's Gate three, uh, a BG three's uh, character creation thing. Oh, Black Desert Online. Yes, that was absolutely it. I knew it was some kind of like an online thing, but I couldn't remember what the first two words of that 
thing was. But yes. Um, anyway, so Matt's on. Uh, Matt's links are on screen and down below, and he streams Mondays and Wednesdays, and he's focusing on Baldur's Gate, though he has done other things in the past and probably will do other things in the future. Um, Eternity streams uh, pretty often, too. He was actually on last night, I noticed. Um, late last night, but last night. Um, and he, he plays various things. Um, basically, he, play, he streams when he can, uh, slash wants to, slash is able to, slash has time to, etc. Um, and he plays whatever he feels like playing. Uh, his URL is on screen and down below and on all the places. All the same. All these links are all in the same places. If you can find one of them, you can easily find all the others. I promise you. I specifically made it that way. <laughs> um, Cosplay Katie is on Twitch and on Instagram. Uh, her schedule it has been rather hectic lately, and so she hasn't been able to stream. I um, I touched bases with her. A couple days ago, actually, uh, she posted on Instagram uh, apologizing for her her vanishing, and uh, we we talked a little bit uh, through the comments um, on her Instagram post. Um, she's trying to get back to streaming and game playing as much as she can, as quickly as she can, um, but life is life, and work is work, and it all sucks, and yeah. Um, but yeah, so check her out. Her channel is over there. Um, there over th no i had it right the first time yeah i had it right it's over there um it's also down below and etc i have not put it in the twitch chat yet because i forgot to do that and i'm a horrible person but there it is it's in the twitch chat it's literally now officially in all the same places i also didn't do it for eternity uh etern how do you spell the word eternity there you go um they are now all the places <laughs> What Just was kidding. you did not do it right the first time you pointed in the complete opposite direction? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I know I fucked up. I don't care. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> okay, <bye. laughs> I'm at the point where I don't care anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Uh, she does cosplay. She does gaming. She's been doing some uh, Witcher three, or at least she used to. I don't know what, if she will when she comes, whenever she comes back. But she was doing Witcher three. She was doing uh, some WoW um, and her various cosplays and stuff. Sometimes she plays while in cosplay. Sometimes she plays while in like pseudo cosplay, which is where like she just has elf ear ears on or something like that. Um, and but yeah, uh, she also. Uh, she has a TikTok, too. Basically, you can find her socials on her page, but you can find her page in all the places. Um, or you can pop in here, and um, one or, and if one or more of them are, uh, one, of, one or more of them may be streaming, too, uh, as long as there's no other conflicts, they will be here, because I will be hosting them. Uh, Disney bounding would be amazing. Um... Like I want to, I want to go to Galaxy's Edge and Disney Bound when I go there, but I don't have the style sense for that. Like I would just end up in straight up cosplay accidentally for Star Wars, <laughs> and that is heavily discouraged. Um, in fact, straight up they won't let you in the park. But anyway, um, so moving on. If you're in the United States of America, please do not forget to vote. November 3rd is coming up quickly. Um, it, this is a, one of the most important elections, uh, the most, uh, mo what is likely the most important election of our lifetime, and is probably one of the most important elections of the entire history of the United States of America. Because <sighs> stress. Um, I have voted. I know that Yvonne po voted the other day. Um, Uh, but yeah, you should vote if you have not voted. Uh, if you don't know if you're eligible to vote, you can find out online. Uh, you can go to uh, um, you can go to usa.gov slash register to vote and find out if you're eligible. Um, you should check with your specific state about your specific state's requirements for registration and early voting or, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Check ahead of time. Check ahead of time. Because there's so much shady-ass bullshit happening. 
so much shady ass bullshit happening uh, involving people trying to go vote and waiting in line for hours and ballots missing and you know all kinds of shady shit happening you're more likely well, actually the ballots missing may not uh less ballot uh that may not be as wide a spread a thing, but around here where I live, uh, mail-in ballots have not been arriving for people who put in for them for early voting. Um, and yeah, it sh fucky shit is happening um, because they really, really, really do not want us to vote. And that fact alone, that fact alone proves that not only are we the majority, but that voting matters. It's fact. It is. Voting matters. Who you vote for matters. I won't tell you who you should vote for, but you should you should vote your your conscience. Um, but do research. Make make sure people's beliefs line up with your own. There's there are all kinds of resources online in regards to this. Voting matters. And do your research and find out. Don't even focus on just the pre the federal level, but also worry about the down ticket uh, elections as well. The locals, the 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 oh shit, what it, like the the state senate and the the state seats and the and the etc etc etc. Like do all your research on those. Don't make sure it's it's a test. It's the worst most important test you'll ever take in your life. So study for it. And this is coming from the guy who never studied for tests and yet still managed to pass, barely, in the most cases. Um, mainly because I didn't care. Um, but anyway, that's that's a whole other story, and nobody wants to hear about that right now. Um, it's important. And speaking of important, this last bit is also very important, so make sure you pay close attention. Very close attention. Remember that you matter. Don't forget that. You matter. You are important. You are loved. And you deserve love. In these rough, dark times, you have to take care of yourself. You have to. Taking time off from things, be it social media, streaming, fighting for your right to live, whatever it is. <sighs> Let me actually move stuff over to the screen so that I can actually be looking at the camera while talking to you guys. Um, that would be important. Taking time off, uh, fighting for your right to live, whatever it is. Whatever you're doing, you can't, you are allowed to put that on hold to take time off from it for your own mental health. It's important. Taking care of yourself is important. Drink water, stretch your muscles, relax your back, exercise, etc. Physical and mental health matters, and it's important. I, I have crisis resources available. Uh, I'm posting links in the chat now if you need them. Oops, I failed. There we go. Um, I have crisis resources available online uh, in my link tree in the Twitch chat. Um, the uh, they're available all over. Um, links for resources to for uh, suicide prevention, substance abuse, domestic abuse, sexual assault. Check those if you need them. Please. You matter. You're important. Um, they're available in the chat. They're down below. They're in the link tree. Look for them. If you're not in the United States of America or these links for one reason or another don't work, Google. They are on Google all over the place. All you have to do is Google what you need and it will be there. I promise. A lot of countries not even uh, a lot of countries have their their own things. Um, I'm pretty sure the links in my, that I have available in the link tree are only available for the United States, um, but I'm pr also pretty sure that other, I like I will guarantee other countries have them too. So if you're not from the states or you're not in the states and you need help, ask for it. Google will provide and take you to where you need to be. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Drink water, like I said. Stay six feet, uh, stay, ugh, stay six feet away from each other at the very least, preferably further. I think I think they've actually said this may have been a while ago, but they may have actually said uh, the preference is ten feet, um, but six feet minimum. Uh, 
but keep at least six feet away from each other because COVID-19 is still here. It is. It's not going away anytime soon because of dumbasses in power. Um, there are people in power, like I, like I just said, there are people in power who are brushing it off. It's nothing to worry about. Like it's nothing to worry about. But if you're paying attention, you know it is. It's like even the most remote sense, if you're barely paying attention and just occasionally scrolling through social media or YouTube or whatever the fuck, you will see how big a fucking different, uh, uh, how big of a problem it is. And be safe, be kind, be empathetic towards those around you. Just because you're just because they're wearing a mask doesn't mean they're safe from you. They're protecting you by wearing that mask. And it's only right that you show them that same level of respect and consideration. Be kind. Is Have empathy. Be kind. Love yourself and everyone around you. And because I've rambled way too fucking long about this, and I'm starting to feel like I'm getting up on a fucking, uh, what's it called? Soapbox. <laughs> I'm going to cut myself off here, because I've literally been talking for half an hour between distractions and my soapboxes. Um, but love yourself and love everyone around you, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Peace.